Okay, you guys, so CPS came knocking at Blueface's front door, and it all has to do with the video that he put up back in July. So Blueface put up a video on his IG stories asking his son if he was gay because there were strippers in the living room. I guess they were shooting a video or whatever the situation was. And Blueface was not too happy with the fact that his son was more concerned about getting something to eat versus watching the strippers dance. Now, mind you, the baby is five years old, but take a look at the video that got CPS knocking at his door. Come here. There's cheeks out here. You in here looking for chips. And Slim Jims and shit. You ain't gay, is you? Huh? Are you gay? You ain't gay, right? My man. My dog. <laughs> My young... So CPS told TMZ that they did knock on Blueface's front door, but nobody answered so they could not assess the well-being of the children. Now what really took me by surprise is that TMZ reported that CPS had been out to Blueface's house nine times since May. Y'all, that's nine times in four months. I mean, no wonder he didn't answer the door. I mean, this is the regular for him at this point. Nothing new, nothing surprising, but it seems like CPS just does it just to go out there because nothing has been done at this point. Now, I just want to be fair and say that you can tell that Blueface does love his kids, okay? But the way he goes about parenting, really specifically the things that he says is just like a child, like somebody who never grew up, maybe more like a big brother versus a father. But I do want to know what you guys feel about all of this. And number one, how do you feel about Blueface getting CPS called on him? And on top of that, how do you feel about CPS being called out to Blueface's house nine times in four months? And do you feel like he deserves to keep custody of his kids? You guys leave your comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll talk to you later.